an old friend has returned to downtown Collingwood. The side launch mural provided a lasting memory of a time when massive Great Lakes freighters were launched at the foot of Collingwood's main street. Now, the mural has a new home on the side of the Loblaws building, just steps away from where these ships first hit the water at the Collingwood shipyards. The mural was originally created by artist John Hood. John has many large-scale public mural commissions to his credit. Artist Alan Bender was putting the finishing touches to the mural's restoration when we caught up to him. I'm with uh, Blick Studios. We're a mural painting company uh, out of Toronto, Oshawa. And we also do uh, restorations. And this is actually the third restoration I've done for John Hood, who's the artist of this, this mural, the uh, side launch. So we've, uh, we started by doing a repair uh, actually on the ground and we repaired all, each of the panels. They've been installed. And now what we're doing is we're doing the uh, fine uh, touch-ups and the sort of the you know the final coats on the, on this mural. Alan says this restoration project was a little different than most other projects he has worked on. Well, in terms of uh, restoration jobs, uh, we do a lot of them that are directly on the walls. In other words, uh, an artist or ourselves as well would paint directly onto the wall, and then we would do uh, sort of a restoration of that. In this case, the mural was actually painted on panels. The difference being is that uh, each of the panels were removed from the original location uh, and then uh, repaired and then install, reinstalled back on the, on the uh, wall itself. So this is like a, uh, another kind of process that mural painters use. The Side Lunch Mural's former home was on the east wall of the old Mountain View Hotel. It was taken down and put in storage just prior to the hotel's demolition. Alan says putting it back together again went easier because the mural was in good shape. Uh, in terms of uh, restoration, this, this particular mural was in very good shape when it was removed from the wall. And whoever did remove it from the wall did a very good job in terms of uh, managing each of the panels and there was no damage on them. So the only kind of real damage there was was wear and tear uh, in terms of weather as well as uh, it wasn't sealed properly in the first place. Therefore there was some rotting as well as some um, uh, mold on the back of the mural. So we repaired all of that stuff, did, filled in all the holes, did all the uh, restoration each of the panels, and, and then brought it to the wall. Alan is well aware of Collingwood's proud shipbuilding past. He says he makes it a common practice to research the history of every project he works on. Yeah, yeah. in fact, uh, John Hood, who is the original painter for this, uh, I followed a lot of his historical murals. And each one, before we actually do the restoration of his murals, we try to channel John. Uh, a lot of a lot of his research in order for him to be able to do these murals. So uh, I'm quite familiar with Collingwood and its history, as well as how this mural fits into that. Alan congratulates Collingwood for making heritage a top priority in the community. He says having so many murals throughout the downtown heritage district is very impressive. I'm very familiar with the, the murals in Collingwood. And there's quite a collection here, and it actually it really reflects on the community and the community's sort of real true interest in its history. And its uh, murals can really do that. So uh, Collingwood is very successful as a community that's got a good range of murals and all of them really do sort of tell about sort of the, the community. They're pretty cool.